Damn. Just I was just talking to Peyton Smith this morning, our our webmaster, and uh, he was right. telling me about you know just going to a bus stop in Seattle to go somewhere. It's it's almost guaranteed that uh, uh, you're gonna get messed with by a drug addict or a prostitute or a gangbanger uh, or a, like uh, it's it's just constant. He said. Uh, and beyond, and what you'll never see in the news, Peyton's 100% right. Uh, I hear the city of Tacoma, which is just a sister sister city 20 miles south, uh, is a war zone now. Carjackings, murders, you literally can't go out on the street. It's like 1960s, 70s New York City, but worse. Um, and I verified it. Boots on the ground. I have a lot of connections. That's Tacoma, to Washington? Washington. Tacoma is a war zone, and Tacoma, it's just south of Seattle, and Tacoma was a wonderful, uh, there were two military bases there, the Air Force Base, McCord, and Lewis uh, Army Base, and Tacoma was a delightful city, a little bit rough and tumble, like a military town, but now, I guess, Mike, it is a war zone, and I'm getting that from boots on the ground, people. Uh, You can't drive through, don't ever drive through Tacoma at night. One of those things. And can you imagine? I got to Seattle in 1983, and it was the most beautiful little city, Seattle, Tacoma area. Maybe 800,000 people, Seattle Seahawks, happy people. Uh, and now it is an absolute embarrassment because uh, basically the Seattle City Council and King County, uh, quote, hardcore leftist liberal government, they basically defunded the police. Uh, the, the prosecutors aren't enforcing the law, Mike. The no bail stuff, Mike. And I guess it's a war zone up there, and it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart because it doesn't have to be that way. And around the country, Americans now who are looking for freedom and looking just ready to vote in the next few elections, uh, we know we can be better. We, we know we're better than this. Uh, we don't have to accept what's happening in our cities. We don't have to accept what's happening at our border. We don't have to accept anything the president's doing on his own or that the PM is doing on his own. Uh, the, the people really do have much more power than perhaps they even remember they do. And down in the United States, you're going to see this phenomenon happening, happening, Mike. The red wave is not an illusion. It is going to happen all the way through 2024, Mike. Greg, we got to go to a commercial break. Let's